Everybody, everybody wants to love. Everybody, everybody wants to be loved. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody, everybody wants to love. Everybody, everybody wants to be loved. Oh, It's Kristen. Today I'm doing a video that I've been wanting to make for actually a really long time. And it's all about like how to be more positive and just like be less stressed. I have been through a lot of experience with anxiety and I don't know if you guys have either. But like kind of a lot of my friends have too. So if this video like helps you out be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's going to be just like tips and like DIYs. You can do just like stuff like that to make you feel like happier. This is a collab with Addy from Far Above Ruby. Her video is called The Power of Words and she's just going to be talking about how you can like stop gossiping and stuff like that and it's going to be really <laughs> I can't talk. It's going to be really cool so you should definitely go check it out. I'll have like a link with her face right here and also in the description box. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you can do to like help with like anxiety or like stress is to like write. I actually got the idea from Hannah who's sitting here right now. Um, oh. <laughs> To like write down all the things that might be like causing you to be stressed out like if you can't figure out why you're like feeling bad and find like solutions for them. The second like tip is to like just train your mind to think in a more positive way. Like I know I used to be like super negative. A lot of people might not really guess that because I act kind of like more perky in my videos. But I used to like think of like the worst possible thing that could like happen or come out of a situation. So it's definitely good to like train your mind and like if you catch yourself being like oh what if this happens or different like negative things like just to like tell yourself if that makes sense to think on like the better side of things. The third idea is to get out more because like isolation feeds depression and anxiety. So like if you're feeling bad, it definitely helps to like go outside or just like little things like that. Like get frozen yogurt with your friends, talk it out with a friend. <laughs> the next idea is to spend less time on your phone because like if you're always on your phone or on the computer and like not really like living your own life, you're like letting all your homework and stuff like that pile on top of you and just like procrastinating in general can like stress me out and also like just when I like talk to people and hang out with family more and spend less time on my phone I feel happier the next idea is to get more sleep because when you're sleep deprived you're usually gonna be like super cranky like your mental clarity is not as good so maybe just try to get like eight hours or so of sleep so the next tip is to listen to music that's more like uplifting or that makes you feel good because I feel like if you're listening to like super like crappy music if that makes sense and just like music that has like negative vibes you're probably gonna feel like negative and like I hate everything I recommend just like making like Spotify playlists with happy and positive like vibes and like singers you're probably gonna hear vibes a lot in this video <laughs> the next idea is to exercise more like I already said um get outside because like studies show that exercising and just like doing more for like your health and your body can make you like feel better in your mind too so I think that's really cool and I'm definitely gonna try to like walk more I ain't trying to lose weight or anything like that but I just think it's like good to be the best version of yourself another idea that's kind of similar to the first idea is to write your feelings down in a journal which helps me a lot. I have this like kind of inspirational journal I got from TJ Maxx a while ago and it has like bible verses in each page so it helps me to like tell either tell somebody or to write down your feelings in a journal and then you can, like look back and like reflect and like try to improve what's going on. Another idea is to cuddle your pet because pets make life happy. <laughs> Hannah's over here cuddling my sister's bear. Oh wait I got this for Valentine's Day. If you follow my Instagram, it's all things Kristen. Shameless self promo. <laughs> if you don't have a pet, buy yourself a bear, flowers, and just like, you know, make yourself happy. Treat yourself. <laughs> yes, treat like, yourself. Um, like Anne from Park and Rec. Yes. Another idea is kind of like similar to like getting out more is to try new things kind of renew your mindset if that makes sense trying new foods hanging out with new people because like change is really good and it's good for like your mental health if you're doing the same thing all the time you're gonna be like Squidward from Spongebob Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> the last kind of tip or idea is to follow inspirational accounts on Instagram or just like unfollow people even that are like filling even your feed. 
feed with negative vibes. You just gotta surround yourself with positivity. If you're gonna take like anything from this video, be with more positive people and follow like positive accounts. Like some of my favorite accounts are like Beautiful Inspiration. I don't know. I'll like put them right here so you can like follow those if you want. So I talked about this a little bit in like my New Year's video. I have like quotes and like a whole ton of like Bible verses <laughs> behind me which is like always in my filming area. So just like fill a wall with quotes and like positive inspiration. If you're like Christian, Bible verses really like help me out. Another DIY is to also in the frame of this video hang pictures up of good times. I really like Polaroids so if you have like enough money to invest in like a Polaroid camera I think those are like so cute and like fun and they make me happy. Another DIY or kind of like thing more like a tip actually is to like list good things that like happened in your day like even if they're small um just to like keep a journal with at least like one thing a day that made you happy like if you got a good grade if you saw your friend if you ate your favorite like food and just like little things like that but another idea is like kind of like taking time to yourself like a facial and like spa day and just like getting a hot bath using a bath bomb i don't know kind of just like relaxing and yeah those are pretty much all the diys if you want like a part two on this video in the future because i probably have like a ton more on how to be more positive and how to like kind of minimize anxiety and depression and stuff like that definitely like let me know by liking this so i really hope you guys liked these ideas and i hope it like helped you out and made you feel happier don't forget to check out addy's video which will be in the description box below sorry i'm talking so weird i don't know i'm kind of having some allergies right now be sure to follow my social media to keep up with me and i'll see you in my next video bye peace and blessings <laughs>